What's up guys, how's it going? It is Matt here. So uh, I was thinking about a topic today and I just started laughing a little bit. So I figured I wanted to do something a little bit different than what I usually do. And uh, I'm gonna talk about the uh, tactical beard and uh, where it came from. So let's get into it. So if you go on any YouTube channel, yeah, including mine, um, you'll notice that we a lot of uh, gun guys nowadays have beards. Um, a lot of gun guys have beards, a lot of military guys have beards and stuff like that. Um, it's kind of become a craze in the last decade of you know a man, a man having a beard. Before that, it was always about being clean shaven all the time and stuff like that. Um, so, so I just wanted to talk about where the tactical beard came from. Now, we're not gonna be talking about the uh, hipster beard. Um, because I think that actually came from the tactical beard and uh, they did their own little thing But we're just gonna be talking about the actual origins of the tactical beard. So If you serve time in the military um, You know that you need to be clean-shaven at all times. Uh, you have to be clean-shaven in uniform You have to be clean-shaven overseas and that's standard military. You gotta be clean-shaven now There's a couple of reasons that you do that most people know those reasons one is it shows professionalism All right, that's what that, that's what the military is always considered part of being professionals being clean-shaven and two um, When you're wearing a gas mask if you don't if you have any type of stubble or anything like that on your beard You will not have a full seal on the gas mask and there's a chemical attack You'll pretty much die because you're wearing a beard So that's why the military has very specific regulations when it comes to facial hair So you're only allowed to have like literally like Hitler mustaches almost Pretty much, <laughs> you have like a tiny little mustaches you can have on it. You can have no hair anywhere else on your face whatsoever. Um, it, it can only be right up here in the front. Now, when you're overseas, we all get bored and we have bad, bad or uh, was it? Uh, they call it bad, bad mustache competitions, just because it's something to do, and we grow it out full just to see what they do. And usually, the command is laughs about it and stuff like that. Um, but when it comes to actual garrison um, back home, and pretty much usually when you go overseas. You have to be clean shaven. So where did the whole tactical beard come from and why is it taking off over these years? And why does every single person that has a YouTube channel that has a gun or everyone that, you know, has a modern day firearm, you pretty much wants to grow a beard out. Um, so I know it's, just, it's a, it's a fun topic. So, uh, basically what would happen is, uh, after being on operations for days at a time, like their first tour in Iraq, when we uh, crossed over to Iraq, um, we went for a month, uh, months without a shower. I mean, we stunk, we stunk, we stank, I don't know what you want to call it. And we were wearing mop gear. Uh, mop gear is a full chemical suit and stuff like that. And uh, when you're on top holding security nonstop in the AVs like I was doing, um, we'd get all kinds of soot and stuff that was that would grow, that would literally attach itself to your face. And it made shaving almost impossible, like literally almost impossible. No matter what you do, it, it hurt, it was painful, it, it was so bad, you'd dull the razor the second you did it. And it wasn't very good so we'd go day, days at a time um, with a little bit of stubble that would start growing just because you just don't have access to a, a legitimate way to shave and the shaving cream and stuff like that <coughs> excuse me so that's kind of started the the tactical beard is because people in theater for a long enough time that they don't they don't have access to the actual shaving and stuff like that and the beard grows and then uh, it also was learned that uh, in the Middle East, um, when it comes to customs um, in the Middle East, um, foreigners, um, they base people's stature on beard size. Literally, uh, if they have a full beard, um, that it doesn't need like the bigger beard makes you, you know, a better, you know, a more important person. But if you don't have a beard, all right, you are looked at, you aren't looked on, uh, what's the best way to say it, with as much respect as if you had a beard. All right, because part of their their religion, their faith, and stuff like that is to grow the beard out. So the pe the older the people person is, they usually have to have facial hair. It's just like a thing they have to have facial hair. So we started learning overseas, and special operations knew this before us, and they would actually start going to beards in theater with this because of this specific reason. Is when they're trying to deal with locals, especially the Green Berets when they started doing it. Green Berets do a lot of work with the locals and stuff like that. Um, they would get more respect from the actual locals if they had facial hair on, that people would look at them with a little bit more respect just because that's in their culture. So that then special forces used to start growing out their beards if there wasn't a gas threat. If there's a gas threat, then they can't grow out the beards because once again, you have the, you have the seals that you, you know, you have to have the seal on the gas mask on it. 
So special operations start growing out their beards. So all these pictures start coming out of all these special operations guys with really nasty beards that like weren't growing any good and some were really nice beards. And then the shemag showed up and stuff like that. And shemag is basically if you get it wet and you wrap it around your neck, it can actually keep your jugulars cool in a uh, crappy day. Good for wiping your hands off and stuff like that. But that started becoming like a thing like a tactical cool thing um so guys started growing up full beards and if they could in active duty if they could legally do it like legitimately do it like a special operations they would grow up those beard in the middle eastern theater just because they'd get the respect of the locals and it kind of became like their the stature check all right you got the beard you got the shemag whatever now fast forwarding um once guys get out of the military this comes to active duty and stuff like that um we have spent most of our time in the military clean shaven every single morning non-stop razor burn in the crappiest weathers and stuff like that shaving non-stop we would always it, it was you got tired of it and your face got tired of it so a lot of us when we got out of the military we said screw that we're not shaving anymore because it was like our own little rebellion of getting out of the military so a lot of the prior service guys started growing out facial hair and stuff like that too now uh fast forwarding again um there's this video a while back, um, Matt Best, funny guy, um, How to Be Tactical, I believe the name of the video, um, How to Be Tactical. Um, and he, he goes into a little full-fledged beard and stuff like that. That's when like the tactical beard actually really became popular is after uh, he, he started doing that video and stuff like that. And it started becoming like a kind of a thing um, when it came to, you know, came, came to tactical farms training or something like that. People would just start growing beards on a daily basis. My boiler came on, guys. It's in the winter out here. So, but anyway, so basically speaking, the tactical, the tactical beard first came from long operations when you just didn't have access to get clean. Then it came from special operations that were going out to actually deal with locals. And now, today, it comes with, uh, I guess, owning a gun. I guess you gotta have a beard if you have a gun for the most part. Now, when it comes to the hipster beards, I don't know. Uh, I don't know where that whole thing started. Uh, maybe they were, you know, feeling self, you know, self-conscious because all these, you know, gun guys had beards, and it, it was right around the same time the tactical beard grew up that the hipsters started growing out their beard. I guess it was to show their masculinity when they really don't have a whole lot of it. But anyway, guys, there you have it. So that's the history of the tactical beard. And if you're like me and you've had a beard for a long enough time, years now, minus the one time I shaved it off to lose weight. Um, it kind of becomes your thing. It kind of becomes part of who you are. And my wife doesn't like it when I shave anymore. Me either, because my cheeks get all puffy and all that other stuff. Anyway, guys, there you have it. I hope you liked the video. So like, share, subscribe, tell your friends about me. And remember, guys, it's our responsibility to take care of each other and protect each other. Peace.